Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today is actually the first time I sat here this year to do my makeup with you guys. I mean, I did upload a Get Ready With Me, but that video was pre-filmed back in 2020. <laughs> so this is literally my first, wow. This is my first time doing my makeup with y'all in the new year. So anyway, we have a new foundation. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. So I wanna do a little wear test with you guys today. And I also wanna try out some new things from ColourPop. So I see that they have a new collection. It's the, um, I think it's called the Wild Chow Collection. So I have their eyeshadow, their blush, some lippies, and some of these um, Super Shock shadows. So we're really just focusing on the foundation in today's video, but the ColourPop products will be like little extras. You guys will see me apply them on my face. Um, Y'all, so I picked three different foundations for the foundation finder because I was getting like different shades. So the three foundations um, I chose to pick this shade was Fenty Beauty, and I chose the Fenty Pro Filter and also the um, Hydrating Foundation. Um, Too Faced Born This Way and the NARS Sheer Glow, as well as the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. So all three of these brands and all of the foundations that I picked, they told me that my shade would be 50 in in this foundation. So we about to see. And um, I'm actually gonna use everything that I would normally use with um, my foundation. So I didn't pull out anything else that was new because I really want to put this to the test and see if it works well with my go-to, you know, complexion products. Only thing new is going to be this and then the ColourPop eyeshadow and all of that. So yeah, so if y'all didn't know, um, let me pull it back up. Sephora just launched this foundation. It is um, medium coverage, natural finish with a long wearing formula that hydrates the skin for 12 hours. So we about to see. So it's a medium coverage foundation and I'm gonna see if I can build it up too because I like to see if medium cover foundations can actually give me a full cover. So we're about to see. So let's let's get started. Um, I'll probably speed through a lot of the parts because we're just focusing on foundation today. 9.13, remember that Andrea, 9.13. I need to just see what time it is after I get finished but right now is nine eight uh nine thirteen in the morning first thing i'm doing is of course putting on my spf this is my tula protect and glow daily sunscreen gel i use this as my moisturizer too because it is pretty hydrating all right um the primers that i've been using this whole month is my huda i'm actually almost out of this and then the pat mcgrath um primer so since my face is pretty <laughs> it's pretty hydrated right now i'm just gonna stick with pat mcgrath today so I've just been juggling between these two because they've been in my everyday makeup drawer for the month of January. Now, normally I would go in with a mattifying primer for my T-zone because I do have combination skin, if you did not know. But I'm just sticking to one today. And I just want to see how my skin going to look by the end of the day. So, anywho. Okay, let me speed through the other parts because the other parts is my brows. I always do my brows first. And then we will try the foundation out. finished up with the brows for now if you have never seen my tutorials I go back into my brows later on so I'm not done just yet now let's try this out so it does come with a pump and you get uh, 0.84 fluid ounce in here so ooh, let me get my foundation little thing I'll be back if you don't have a makeup palette hand makeup palette get one this is from dsmd shop and these usually sell out so i don't know if it's available now but if it is i will have it linked down below uh, it's pretty much just um you just put your makeup on it so that way you won't mess anything up so i'm just gonna squirt a few pumps on here 
Okay, so it looks pretty thick. And I hope this color matches me. Fingers crossed. So, I'm also gonna take the DSMD sponge. Y'all, when I say they have the best sponges, this is a black owned business. If you don't have a sponge from them, if you don't have anything from that brand, at least get a sponge, because these are the best. But I'm gonna take the, um, bottle, uh, the bottom part of the sponge, dip it into the product. Okay, just looking at it on here, I'm gonna try to put it where my hand is. It looked like it could be good. I mean, it better be good. This is the only thing I got. I didn't get any other shades. <laughs> okay, let me, let's put it over here because I have some dark spots over here. I just want to see what the coverage is like and if the color is good. Good coverage, really good coverage. And the color is perfect. Perfect, yes. It doesn't have a scent. Oh my gosh. Wow. For this to be a medium coverage foundation, this is giving coverage. I'm trying to think of a foundation that this reminds me of because squirting it out, it was pretty thick. But now that I blend it, like start blending it, uh, I don't know. I might have to get back with y'all on that because I can't think of a foundation that this reminds me of. But are y'all seeing this? Girl, this is a perfect shade. Perfect. Okay, Fenty Foundation. Now, it doesn't, like the formula is not the same as this, but color-wise, if you have both of the Fenty Foundations, you know, well, if you have both of them in the same shade, the hydrating foundation is a little bit different. And to me, the Fenty Hydrating Foundation matches me perfectly. The Pro Filter Foundation is a little red and I use the shade 420. So color wise, this is giving me Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation because that foundation blends, 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 like it melts into my skin. It's almost like I don't even know where I put it when I put it on my face because it is the perfect, perfect match. And that is exactly what this is doing to my skin. Now, y'all saw that I had on the um, SPF and I also put on the Pat McGrath primer. The SPF is actually was giving me the extra glow, but I'm not mad at it. I like this. I really, really like this glow on my skin. I'll definitely have to try out the foundation without using the Tula, but for now, I do really, 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 really like how it's looking on my skin. So I've used pretty much all of the foundation. I'm just gonna take whatever is left on the sponge and put it on my forehead. I try not to put too much foundation on my forehead because I feel like I don't really need that much, but I like that this spreads really, really good and even. Y'all, I get so excited when I find a foundation, like a good shade when I purchase it online, because especially if I don't purchase more than one. All right, so the rest of the products I'm using, I will have, I'm gonna have everything in the description like I always do. But like I said before, all the things that I'm using on my face are products that I have been using. Nothing's new, nothing's different. So I can really see if I like you know, if I like this foundation. So right now, y'all, do we love, do we love it? It looks so freaking good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do the rest of my face and then we will talk more about the foundation once I get done. Well, once I get done with the entire face, because I want to talk about the um, ColourPop products as I put them on. So let me do the rest of my face and then we will get to ColourPop and then we will talk more about the foundation.
All right, y'all, I am loving this complexion. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now let's play with the ColourPop Wild Child Collection. So this is the eyeshadow palette. And I have two, I thought I had three. I don't know what I did with the other one, but I have two of the Super Shock shadows. I have the shade Black Instinct, and then I have Free Rain. Um, and then the blush, actually I do know what I did with the other one. I'm actually giving that other one away, but the blush, I have two in total, but the one that I feel like would work for me is tripping. The other one was way too light, so I'm giving that one away as well. So, oh, and three of the lippies. Super excited for these. I might just swatch all of these with you guys so y'all can see how they look, but first let's do the, the eyes first. So. I want to go in, let's first start with Ground Crew, this color right here. And I'm just gonna take this uh, Patrick Ta eyes brush. It doesn't say exactly what type, but it's like a regular blending brush. And we are gonna put her in the crease. Yeah, this is pretty much my go-to type of crease color that brick orange terracotta type of shade. And this is giving it to me, yes. You know what? I am gonna keep this really, really simple. Since this is pretty much a foundation review video, I don't wanna go too in depth with the eyes. So I think I'm gonna go in with two more shades. Ooh. I went heavy with that. So this in the crease and then something on the lid and then I'm gonna probably top off whatever I put on the lid with one of those super shock shadows. This will make a good um, lid color too. So if you just wanna do those one shadow looks, which y'all know I love, just pop this on the lid and then start smoking it out into the crease and it will be a really pretty one shadow look so oh that's pretty now let's go in i'm gonna stick with my same brush let's go in with hmm i don't know if i want to use this one or this one i think this one will tie into the crease too much so let's go with the darker shade so this is called feisty and oh this is pigmented so I'm just gonna tap it all over like this I'm not gonna blend this out just yet because since I have so much of this color on the brush I don't want the crease to look too heavy like because if I go in straight to start blending it it's gonna look too dark so right now I'm just packing that color on the lid and I'm gonna take it over to the other side and do the same thing all right so now that we have that shade packed on the lid I'm gonna take my brush and we're sticking with the same one and I'll take a little dry face wipe and just take it and do this Wipe it off really good so you won't have too much of that eyeshadow on the brush. And then taking that same brush, um, oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Something was tickling my nose. I'm gonna take that same brush and just kind of go in to my crease. So that brush is touching the color that I put on my lid and it's also touching my crease color, but it doesn't really have much product on it, so it's not gonna look too dark. So you can see how it just fades evenly into the crease so taking it in the crease and also kind of pulling it up a little bit more so it can fade some more into that first shade so i'm gonna play with um what color do i want to play with let me take them both out and see because i want to put this all over the lid and i like the packaging because it's like brown and chocolatey this one is free rain I think that'll be pretty on the lid. 
Oh no, let me see. Let me see the other one. And this one is Basic Instinct. Ooh. Dang, which one do I wanna use? I don't know, it looks like something I wouldn't put on top of this type of color. Yeah, let's play with the other one. And I always like to use my finger when I use stuff like this because it's, it just makes it easier for me to apply it. Yeah, this will be perfect on the lid. This is just gonna give it that extra pop, I feel like. Yep. Yep. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Do y'all even see what I just did? Look at that. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna put my lashes on really quick, do my mascara. Y'all, I have been obsessed 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 with this Maybelline mascara it's the new high sky no sky high mascara I've been using it with lashes I've been using it without lashes and I just love it it's so good um, but yeah I'm gonna put my lashes on really quick I'm gonna use my same lashes which is the Ardell Remy 778 and I will be back all right done with the eyes I went back into the wild child palette and used um, a feisty to smoke out my um, bottom lash line and I use the Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have all this in the description anyway, but the eyeliner that I use is this Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a double-sided eyeliner. You have a black shade and then you have like a light champagne color, but I use the black for my waterline. So let's do the rest. Let's play with this blush and then play with the lippies and then we'll touch base on the foundation. And then of course, we'll see how it looks at the end of today. Let's see how this is gonna look. I'm gonna take Patrick Ta powder brush to use it with this blush. Again, this is in the shade Trippin'. This has some shimmer. Yeah, it has a little shimmer. Let me see if y'all can see if it will focus. Don't know if y'all can see the little shimmer, but let me swatch it a little bit. Here's a little swatch on the finger, and then there's a swatch on my hand. So it looks like it works. It looks like it'll be a pretty color. Okay. Now let's see how it looks on the face. So it does come off really good on the brush. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Finally, ColourPop gave us a blush that was not ashy. This is pretty. Really, really pretty. Now let's play with the lippies. So we have three different shades. We have Sassy, Brat Pack, and Oh Behave. Oh Behave is the darker one. Brat Pack looks like it'll be a little bit lighter and then Sassy is more of a medium. Let me just swatch them because I don't even know. Let's swatch Sassy first. Swatch her right here. Ooh, I like. And we have a Brat Pack. And then we have O oh, Behave. Oh, this one is dark and chocolatey. Okay, so out of the three, huh, what color should I use? Let me just put all three of them on my lips so y'all can see how they look um, swatched on the lips. But here's a little swatch on the hand. So let's play with them. Let's see what they look like on the lips. I'm gonna go with the lighter shade first because I don't know if this is gonna bleed and leave a stain on my lips. So Brat Pack, I'm not, I'm not going in with any lip liners. This smells sweet. Mmm, smells like caramel. I like this one. I like 
this one. Okay, so that's Brat Pack. Let's do Sassy next. Ooh, I like this one. I like all of them. <laughs> I like how creamy these feel. <laughs> so that's that one. Last one, I might just keep this on my lips instead of taking it off, is um, Oh Behave. Now this, since this one is a little bit darker, I'm gonna try to be careful around my lip line. So I'm just gonna line the lips first with it. Oh, I bet this will be pretty with one of those other ones. Use this as a lip liner and then go in with the other, like a lighter one. Oh, this is rich, girl. This actually looks good with the eyes. So the setting spray that I wanna use today is my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Setting Spray. This is gonna lock in my makeup and it's also gonna help it be transfer proof. And since I'm doing like a full day wear test, I wanna make sure that my makeup is set. All right, so we are finally done with the face. It looks flawless. It looks pretty. I love the finish. Everything came together. Um, really quickly, let me talk about the foundation before I go about my day. Um, I don't think I mentioned earlier when I was applying the foundation how it felt on my skin. I did say that it was like kind of thick when I squirted it out. But once I started blending it out on my skin, it didn't feel thick. Like it felt like, a, um, what's the word? Pretty much it didn't feel heavy. So it pumped out kind of thick. Let me do an, um, one more little pump. Yeah, so it is kind of thick when you pump it out. But once you start blending it on the face, it doesn't feel thick. And it still doesn't feel like I have on a ton of foundation. And I only went in with one, um, how many pumps I did? I forgot how many pumps I did. <laughs> but I went in with all the product that I used on, I pretty much used all the product that I put on the little makeup palette. And I didn't go back in with another pump because I felt like it gave me just enough coverage. I did say in the beginning that I wanted to see if it builds up, but I felt like I didn't need to do that because it gave me the coverage that I needed. So I didn't really need to go in with another um, layer but right now I am very very happy with the finished look love how my skin looks love how the complexion is just giving but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day um, I'm gonna let my hair down probably do another video and then I will check back with you guys later on I'm gonna check back throughout the day so you guys can see how um, the face is holding up but before too much time passes I want to show you guys how it looks right now in natural light so here's a little clip so you can see how the face looks. But yeah, I will see you guys later on. Hey y'all, so it is the most cloudiest day today. So hopefully y'all can really see my face. Um, it's three o'clock. Y'all can't see that on my phone cause my freaking dog, but it's three o'clock. So, um, and we started earlier this morning. So I just wanted to give a quick little check-in before I do my final review later on this evening i'm gonna try to keep this face on for a couple more hours so i was able to film one video after um i did my makeup earlier so i think it's holding up pretty pretty good so what do y'all think i think it looks pretty good so um i don't see any separation with the foundation everything is in place i don't really see my smile lines peeking through yet i mean i can kind of see them starting to come through but it's not like super duper noticeable um so yeah i am gonna probably just chill for the rest of the day um edit some and then i will check back with you guys later on okay y'all let's talk about it so it's currently 5 19. And I know I checked in the first time, it was like around three something. Um, so I wore, wore the face a couple more hours without taking the makeup off. And I think everything still looks good. So I'm gonna give you guys a little closer look, get up into it so y'all can see. Sorry if I'm smacking in your face, <laughs> but I just want y'all to see my skin. 
and I want to do a transfer proof test so I got these little um, dry face wipes and you can get them off Amazon they're pretty affordable and they're thicker than they're actually thicker than tissue so I'm gonna do that um, but before I do that I want you guys to see how my t-zone is looking because remember i told y'all in the beginning of the video that i was not gonna put on any mattifying primers like i usually do and it honestly looks i mean it looks fine it looks pretty good if you ask me like i actually like my skin like looking like this it's not too oily looking like honestly it's not oily it's just a little luminous and it looks like skin so um but yeah nose is a little shiny i feel like if i leave this on um a little bit longer a few more hours of course it's gonna get more oily right there but everywhere else honestly it looks freaking good so uh let's do a little you know transfer test i'm just gonna press it on my face and there is nothing coming off on here so I have a feeling it's gonna show when I do my nose but let me just try it and see I'm gonna press it down really hard yeah it's just a little bit it's not much though and then I'm gonna do my forehead so nothing's right there I'm gonna do my forehead yeah just my nose right in here so if you have like blotting sheets you can just blot the areas on your face that is getting too oily but I like it I like the finish I like how it held up even my smile lines because I was telling y'all earlier that they are starting to peek through but it wasn't like super duper noticeable so now that a few hours have passed it's still not bad at all so ah! okay so do I recommend this obviously yes I still can't think of a foundation that this reminds me of the um, the consistency of it like it was pretty thick when I squirted it out it kind of reminds me of the elf flawless finish foundation because y'all know that's pretty thick um, but it doesn't feel as heavy as the elf flawless finish even though that foundation doesn't feel hit like I can't explain it it's thick like the elf but it doesn't feel like that on the face like this feels really light and airy and it gives me coverage so yeah um i'm trying to think of another foundation that i can probably compare this to that you guys are probably familiar with i can't think of one honestly if you've tried this foundation out let me know how you feel about it like what foundation does it remind you of do you like it let me know and this is twenty dollars i think i told you guys that in the beginning or i had it on the screen but twenty dollars it's affordable 0.84 fluid ounce i think yep 84 fluid uh, 84 fluid ounce so it is a good bit in here and i like the fact that it does come with the pump and i am so so glad that i got a shade that matches me perfectly like this is the perfect perfect shade matches my chest it's perfect so yeah i'm happy about this i actually just received um my other package that had a few new products i'm going to use those in my other testing new product video and it's actually the sephora they have a new setting powder so i ordered that it just didn't come in time for me to try this out with it so i'm going to be using this foundation with that setting powder in another video so you guys will see that but all in all i definitely give this foundation a two thumbs up so like i said if you guys have tried it out let me know your thoughts do you like it do you not like it if you haven't tried it out are you interested in trying it out for yourself so i will have a link everything all the goodies down below in the description if you guys are interested in trying this foundation out but other than that i don't think i have anything else to say i am very 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 impressed with the longevity it looks so so good like skin like i mean it says best skin ever i wouldn't say best skin ever like but it does give that like skin like finish you know it's not too heavy it looks really natural and i feel like if i use less than what i did it still would have gave me a really pretty finish so yes 
that is all that I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this review, this wear test. And yeah, so if I used anything in today's video, foundation, ColourPop products, even the products that I put all over my face, because I'll have them down below if you guys want to see what I did or use. But if I use anything that you guys have tried out, what do you think about the products? Do you like them? Do you not like them? So yeah, that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.